Hey guys, welcome back to Jamrin guys. So in this tutorial, we will be playing around with progress bar with progress uh, values and we can just uh, readjust and remodify as per our requirement. So uh, the progress bar will look like this and here I have uh, customized my uh, progress bar to get ended uh, within 360 seconds. That is like from 0 second it will start and it will end to uh, 360 seconds. So it is a very uh, easy tutorial. So follow along in order to cover it up so you can see over here uh, i have a blank forms application that is a uh, very basic examined forms app and which gets started uh, from uh, main page you can see over here we have a main page dot xaml then uh, we have a stack layout for first of all let's focus on this part only and then only we'll just go into this uh, uh, converter section so it has a stack layout you can see over here one label and along with the progress bar uh, control and we have a black color and you can just play around with those values as margin and anything as you like then here you can see I have a progress progress value and the converter right so this uh, binding progress value is uh, the value that gets uh, uh, sent from our main page.xaml.js and you can use mbbm approach also and uh, here i know to make this tutorial fairly easy so i'll just uh, added all the code in cs uh, and you can see over here uh, we have a progress value uh, which gets uh, uh, delivered from the cs part itself then uh, what we are going to do at first that is we are going to set uh, that our main page will be a uh, uh, binded uh, my main page or jamal will get all its value from the main page uh, by using this line of code that is binding context calls this that's a very crucial step and if you are binding anything from your view model then you have to take it from your uh, main page to a view model class then uh, what we are going to do is uh, we are going to take a minimum maximum as well as the progress value that is our uh, uh, timer will start from uh, start from 0 second and it will end at 360 second and the progress value will also be 0 and it will be incremented as per uh, the timer increases that is from second 1 that is every 1 second it is going to tell that uh, uh, it will uh, again going to call this again same code uh, till it reaches to a maximum state so whenever the progress value is uh, uh, less than the maximum that is 360 second then we are going to increase the progress value then uh, if everything uh, goes well and fine then we are going to return false whenever um, uh, the progress value is uh, 360 but in order to do that uh, our progress value as well as the progress bar should be uh, binded with the converter that is value progress bar and we can use a converter in order to get that value of the progress bar by dividing with the 360 second that is it requires a double value and uh, that's why we need uh, to divide with the 360 seconds and uh, you have to focus on this part that is uh, if you are making as like 60 second or 120 second or anything then if it is maximum as 120 then uh, your value progress bar should be divided with 120 or 60 or something like that in order to get uh, the progress bar to the end uh, that is all uh, about uh, this value progress bar and uh, we can get the value as per the progress increases that is 360 second it is going to get ended that's all for this tutorial now thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for next tutorials